Sagittarius, it's L here to do your June 18th through July 1st reading. Um, I've already pulled the cards. I'll save the announcements to the end. Let's get into it. So the first row is love and romance. Second is career and finance. And then we have our additional supportive messages. Okay. All right. Five card advice spread. This is Sagittarius, right? We're, let's look at the bottom of the deck. The Hierophant. Okay, so some of you are dealing with long-standing relationships. Some of you want to walk away. Some of you want to work on it. A lot of you want to walk away, but there are children or there are circumstances involved. A lot of you feel like walking away uh, includes losing a lot of money. For some of you, um, you don't know exactly what that looks like financially, monetarily for you. So that's what keeps you there. There might be children also in the midst of this. Turn around. Um, it's kind of intuitively what I'm picking up. A lot of you are um, entrepreneurs and having a lot of success in that, but also a lot of uh, energy and mental drainage there. Some of you need to get some rest. Okay. First card, Seven of Pentacles is right where you are. Right, you're looking backwards, looking at the time, the energy, the love, the whatever you've invested in a certain situation. This is love and romance. So, um, could be with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Are you on your right path? The Five of Pentacles says you don't feel confident about where you are. Like I said, you feel like you want to leave, cut something out, walk away from a situation. Um, maybe dealing with the Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Uh, or you have cut someone out or, or you're definitely on the verge of doing that. This could be a long-standing relationship, a marriage, business partnership. Confidence level is not where it needs to be. Could be in money also, but just not sure of the situation. Fives are changed too. You want change here because you're not sure. Uh, your main obstacle is you, temperance, finding balance, finding, trying to balance it all out. Like I said, for some of you, trying to balance out love and romance, and then you have a lot of clients, your entrepreneurs. Trying to balance it all. You're not getting a, enough sleep. You have children. Just trying to find balance. For some of you, it's trying to find balance in a love situation that you just aren't confident in anymore. Where you feel shut out or you, or you shut someone out. Um, yeah. Or needing to find balance. You yeah, it's, you're not even looking at the fact that you need to find balance. You just keep going. You just keep doing. And you're not analyzing and reflecting on, hey, I feel this way. I'm tired. I'm this. I'm that. I'm cranky. And not actually dealing with um, the symptoms of being out of balance. Okay. What's helping you? The Page of Wands. This could be a person. This could be a child. This is that call to action. It's like messages come in that, that help you kind of move forward, invigorate, find more vitality in a certain situation. You could have just a reliable friend that you confide in and they, you know, it's fun being with them. You find that balance, not balance, but you find an, that second win when you're with them, even with talking to them. How can progress be made? Ten of Wands, what did I say? Heavy workload, heavy love and relationship there's a burden here that you're carrying you're willingly carrying it 
You do only know why you're carrying it. The moon is there. It's secret. It fulfills you on some level. But it's also taxing and backbreaking. Someone may feel this way about you too, Sagittarius. Like they want to lay this down. It's too much for them. Okay, career and finance, bottom of the deck, three of wands, um, gossip, opposition, um, opposition in the terms of I'm trying to move away from, yes, I established something, I, I established those two of wands, but now I'm at the third one, and I'm walking away from what I established before, because I'm looking out into the horizons, I want better, I want more, I want I want that that vigor, that vitality, that zest for life that Sagittarius need. Sagittarius, right where you are, seven of clubs, all right? Standing your ground. You're also moving away from, you've made your mind up and you've and you've moved away from probably due to the fact that your your psychic abilities are heightened against the opposite sex. You already know what's going on with them against you know the person you're dealing with uh, there will be prosperity and success here because you finally made a decision to walk your own path seven of Pentacles seven of wands um, spirit is working with you it may happen next month for you July is the seventh month you could be dealing with a situation or have dealt with a situation a cycle goes seven years now it's time for you to have change with the five of pentacle. Okay, are you on your right path? The five, another five. So much change in your life. Five of pentacle, five of spade. It says no. There's cancel cancellation. Like you thought something was moving this way, but now it's been canceled. Be a lot of times due to outside opposition. You know, this is interference. Somebody has interfered. Whether you wanted them to interfere or not. But there's outside interference. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy. This is also could be like third party situation. Five of Pentacles, five of Spade. And it doesn't have to be like third party. Like I'm in a love relationship with the third party. But it could be family member. It could be anything. It could be work. It's just interference where you are. Um, there needs to be change enacted in love and career and finance. What is your main obstacle? Wow, the jack of clubs. This is you going back and forth. This is you being in and out. If not dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or, or Leo like your or Sagittarius like yourself or Leo this is somebody who's in and out you gotta you have to, in your career for that stick to you jump around so much to so many different things because you're you're good at so many things or you see opportunity in so many different ways cultivate what you're good at you once again are your own obstacle you're not finding balance you're all over the place you're taking on too much to the one what's helping you nine of spades hmm this is low energy i see that here with the ten of wands and I said that intuitively before I started. Low energy, mentally stressed, mental anxiety. It could be in regards to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this is how they feel. You may be dealing with an air sign in career and finance. Or in career and finance, it makes you feel this way because you haven't done this. You haven't found balance. You're in and out. You're all over the place. 
you got your hands in so many pots and it's it's probably good um you know as far as monetary if we're speaking monetarily but what about your mental and emotional health i don't see any cups here and how can progress be made the three of spades divorce separation most times due to infidelity the need to practice caution in a relationship and then we have the ten of wands for how can progress be made lay down the burden i mean this is could, could sever the ties like the two threes here for career and finance there's outside interference within career and finance which you can't move forward because first of all you haven't made a, a real solid decision about where you go and you know that you want to go somewhere that's the only decision you've made but you haven't made a solid decision about which way you're moving in you're in and out you're back and forth you're playing games with someone or in some manner and spirit is hindering progress because you you're in this and you need to do this The cat's out of the bag. I mean, if you feel like somebody doesn't know what you're doing, they already know. Psychic abilities could be heightened toward you. Um, and also, you know that they know. You know? Come on. Uh, that was for somebody. Alright. Well, what did I say? The bottom of the deck for um, additional supportive messages. Butterfly Oracle deck. Relationship dynamics. The dynamics of your relationships, whether it's work, love, and romance, the dynamics have been altered, maybe due to someone coming in the relationship, exiting the relationship. Feelings have changed. Someone is not as confident as they used to be about this connection. The, the dynamics have changed. You can no longer ignore them. Uh, you have to face burden and change five five uh you have to face it head on all right body changes yeah nine of spade also talks about health you know like i said in the beginning low energy your health what are you eating what are you putting in your body you need vitality you need that vigor because um body changes something's changing with you when your body talks listen to it self-care wow you got to care about yourself i think for so long you've been staying in a situation you've been dealing with a situation because of all the components involved all the different people involved you care about your family so much that you do so much and you sacrifice so much and you don't see it in any other way in any other perspective until you are burned at the end and then you turn around and you do the exact same thing again not learning that sometimes you have to love from afar Oops. somebody welcome the new there is newness here only if you go through this only if you do these two things how can progress be made lay down the burden separate divorce if that's relationship i mean divorce is just basically separating it could be in career and finance separate from a job separate from a business partnership if it's taxing if it's no longer fulfilling do what you need to do to separate because there will be newness here like i said intuitively the spirit is telling you we're hanging you up we're holding things up because you won't do what you need to do in your life all right so if this resonated with someone anybody um or you feel like this would be good for somebody share it uh, share the video um, request a personal reading by going to my website it's below you can follow me find me on Instagram also uh, what else um, choose to fund the page if you can't request a personal reading and you want the page the channel to keep going go to the click the GoFundMe you know any donation is much appreciated it goes back into the channel we'll buy more cards we'll do whatever uh if you cannot request a personal reading um do what is free like this post right now like it click the like button subscribe to the channel comment below 
tell me how this resonated with you or if it didn't um or just say hi you don't have to go into a long spiel um it's much appreciated okay all right and i am going to pick two commenters from the the highest from the sign that has the most comments i'm going to pick two commenters and do a fifth five minute free reading for those two very special people so that could be you all right so anyhow um remember sagittarius when in doubt pray i'm praying for you pray for me as well take care bye